So first of all, there's a couple of uh, different things that I want to add to the conversation. So what you are advocating for is nothing to do with an Amazon seller building their own operation, selling, and or that, that something that will contribute to their own brand. But this is a, if you want to call it a side side hustle, that is in the universe that you operate in, that you are already intimately familiar with as a seller, and which in fact you can benefit yourself on your own product detail pages by getting more intimately familiar with it. Uh, but ultimately it's about promoting somebody else's item and creating a video and submitting it, submitting it to appear on the product display page and product detail page. And anytime anybody makes a purchase after viewing that video, you get a percentage of the deal. So that's Spot what it's on. about. Okay. Now, a couple of things. This is, so I had a lady, uh, I am, she's running a business. It's all about the influencer program that a, a couple of things that I learned from her that I want to bring into this conversation so that uh, listeners can get the, the full picture. First of all, in order for the brands to take advantage of these uh, user generated content, right? That's ultimately what it says, UGC. Uh, they have to first ungate their product or uh, for receiving the, these UGC content. And in order to do that as a seller, you have to upload your brand video. So if your listings have no video whatsoever, then the doors are closed. Nobody can submit this UGC. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, this is, this is as a brand yourself, uh, if you want others to submit UGC and then take advantage of it, which by the way, you, you also very softly mentioned, Amazon pays these influencers, but it doesn't cost you a dime, right? right. Amazon pays out, it's, it's a huge deal. So uh, anybody listening, go upload your brand video so that you can open those gates for influencers to submit. The second part of it is, this is the program for influencers. So somebody who's listening may say, okay, how do I sign up for this? They have to become an approved creator, right? So it's called Amazon Creator, uh, that, that network, and you have to sign up as well. So, and you have to be approved. So Amazon is gonna give you an ID and uh, you can then see, just like affiliate networks, where you can see all the sellers and everything and these, uh, Creators can pick and choose who they want to submit reviews for. I, I'm sure that they would pick uh, higher ticket items because the percentage would be greater rather than a $10 item. So there's all these different things. Of course, you can search Amazon, but ultimately to take advantage of the idea that you uh, suggested, they've got to sign up as an Amazon creator. And then those UGCs that you create uh, they are provided under the Amazon Influencer Program. So, uh, does that kind of bring it full circle? Yeah, you you hit you hit two really good points there. Where an influencer can't put a video on your listing until you you've already opened the doors, if you would, for for that product. Um, the the only way it could even connect with your listing outside of that would be through the Amazon Inspire feed. But it's it's not that's not going to appear on the product detail page, and and yeah, and the other point that you mentioned is 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 right on the money. I I would um sort sort of using that as a as a segue to to talk about the other half of the of the Amazon influencer program from the part of the seller is I think there's a lot of sellers out there now that are just not aware of how those videos are appearing. And, and are not treating it as, and, and I was guilty of this as well. 
until I saw it from the, from the influencer side, I, I was really ignorant of a lot of the ways that was there. It was just one of those things I didn't really pay attention to. But once I was on there as an influencer, one thing that starts happening almost immediately is that Chinese brands and Chinese factories, they, they look at your influencer profile because you, you get like an influencer storefront and they look at the videos you do and they have software that goes in there and says, you know, like imagine this, this, this factory has that sells on Amazon US, a factory in China sells on Amazon US and they sell pool products. Their, their tools will go through those influencer pages and look for someone that's doing reviews that has a pool or that has kids if there's a kid's product or pets. And then they reach out to you because if they go to your page, they can just kind of like reverse engineer it. They see what social media is you connected and then it's pretty easy to find you and reach out and they pay, um, which was great. But again, that's more for the monetizing as an influencer on Amazon. But what I noticed is I started getting reached out to by some of these brands and they wanted me to do a video that was talking bad about the, the video. So this was a different concept. Obviously, um, if I'm going to shoot a video as an influencer, as a creator, I want it to convert because that's how I'm going to make money. Not that I'm going to give a, a product a five-star video review um, and there's no star rating. I'm just saying like I'm giving it a glowing video saying it's amazing if it's not. But instead of creating a video, because that's the end of the day, it, it's, it's resources it takes. Instead of creating a negative or hit piece, I just won't do any. Because why would I do a hit piece and invest resources into doing this if no one's going to convert on it and I make money? So I, I'd rather pass and just stay positive. But when this brand did this, it made me think. And it was like, man, they're willing to pay me you know, 50 to a hundred bucks to do a 30 second thing, basically saying that they didn't like it. And I started getting more of these and then it clicked. And I was like, this is another way that they're, they're, they're sabotaging or that your competitors are attacking your listings. And a lot of sellers don't realize how those videos even get there. So there's no way to really defend. So for me, moving forward, on all listings, just kind of our, kind of like a part of our checklist on for, you know, going into this as a launch, we want to get, which, which is roughly about 15 influencers, Amazon influencers that can leave reviews so that I can take up all those slots telling the story that, that I want, um, rather than allowing my competitors to jump in there and leave negative reviews. Cause there's no rule against the reviews must be positive. You just see them as positive because the influencer wants to make money off of it. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. So, so what you're saying is these Chinese factories are hiring these influencers to leave negative reviews, negative review videos on their competition, and they pay them for those videos. A absolutely, and. And since when we say the word Amazon influencer or just the word influencer, I feel like a lot of listeners may think Kim Kardashian, you know, an actor or somebody with a reputation that is like, I I'm not, I'm not going to put my reputation on the line for hitting this. No, you're talking about an, an army <laughs> of people that are approaching this as a side hustle that for a couple bucks, you can, you know, target a third world country with likes to page ads and qualify for the program. Um, unbeknownst to Amazon, you know, you hit your 5,000 page likes, but you're not a, I hate to say this. I, I really feel like we're all influencers. It's whether we exert it or not. That's the, that's at, at issue. But, and as a brand, I think you, sh you are an influencer, whether you know it or not, but to the full extent of the term, as we know it as an influencer, no, the majority of people in that program are not influencers. They're side hustlers, as you pointed out, uh, and a very lucrative side hustle it is, <laughs> but when you're there and you have no reputation on the line and you have, you know, say 15 factories, you know, fit one company that's willing to do 15, give you 15 products so that you can do positive reviews on those and negative reviews that they'll order the competitor's product and send it to you, cost you nothing. You're getting two, you're getting 30 free products to leave 30 reviews and they're just going to PayPal you 15 to 1500 to $2,000. I know many of people that that will do that. And heck, I'm not proud of it. But when I was grinding and living off Subway sandwiches, I, I probably would have taken one of those in the early days, you know? Yeah. And it, uh, so it's like, 
I, I expect a lot of other people might not admit that, but they might. So if you're not filling those slots up as a, as a seller, I think you're unnecessarily opening yourself up to, um, to sabotage, to attack, not to mention I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like popular for wearing these Columbia shirts. These, every time you see me, I'm wearing like this long sleeve black or blue, uh, fisherman Columbia shirt. And I started just because I put a lot of weight on after I got married, not because of any, I, I don't fish. I'm not an out, you know, outdoorsman and they just fit well on me. But <clears throat> when I was looking for shirts to kind of switch up into what I wear now, I was looking online and everyone online that had these shirts on, they were, they looked like they had a six pack, but I saw this one on YouTube and it was somebody that I felt like had more my body type. And it was this amateur like video. And that's how I started wearing these shirts. So those videos on your listing, I feel like are an opportunity dependent on the product to have a bunch of different, you know, we live in an amazing world with different colors and different accents and different sizes take an opportunity to tap into all that and have it show up on your listing. People will just relate to it better in my opinion and you increase conversions. Yeah. I mean, listen, th this is 21st century. People don't read as much anymore. They just watch videos. And even those videos that they watch now we've got these real videos, you know, that last 30 seconds, they come with strict rules. They can't be too long. So everything is in these short, short bursts of delivering something to influence somebody about whatever that the subject matter may be.